Hey chess friends, hope you're doing well, Alpha Zero is like an opening genius who knows more than 10 million opening tricks and its traps, today I tested its skills against our former chess champ, Wesley So, and I've got two exciting games to share, the second one has a mysterious opening, let's dive into the game, Alpha started the game with e4, we have c5 knight c3 and the closed Sicilian traditional line, Wesley has multiple options for shaping his pawn structure and planning for future variations. He played e5, which is called cave knight pawn structure, look at the center, both of the knights have free rights to explore the sea beach, knight g5 is a threat to attack the pawn so he played bishop e7, knight g5 anyway because if you capture the knight then queen h5 will cause diabetes in your stomach and fever in your eyes, Wesley meditates and played knight h6, queen h5, the pawn is under attack by the three warriors, both side played castle, knight d4 and alpha 0 played his 4000 elo tactic f4. If I play with black I would consider bishop g4, forcing the queen to retreat, minimizing attacks, but humans are too attached to gain free gifts, alpha said, happy new year Wesley, take the rook gift, even the best chess player is a 7 year old child in front of AI, what to speak about Wesley, he captured the rook, falling into alpha Zero's trap, it's true that I was also fell for Alpha's trap yesterday but you know, I had black piece, Alpha is threatening to play f6, opening up the diagonal. Attacking to the pieces, Bishop and Knight are pressuring to f and h pawn, Queen is ready there to checkmate black, Bishop f6, stopping the pawn movement, Knight h3 and apparently best move for black is to take the pawn or play King h8, but Wesley tries to bring his knight in center, it's too late too much for black, Knight takes f6 if you capture the knight, then after takes, queen g4 is coming to checkmate you, knight e3 rook f3 king here takes bishop e6. Bishop g7 king captured rook check then we will sacrifice our knight on g5, take rook h3, and there is no way to stop the avalanche to protect black's wooden house, it will be over so back to the position, we have king h8 bishop takes h6 and what you will play. It's just over. If queen takes f6 happen, then bishop g5 will trap the queen right away, so in this position, if you think, hey stockfish, what if I capture the bishop, well my boy, queen takes h6 is like having a crow throw his toilet in your face, takes takes, and it will be a checkmate in just few moves, and friends if you are enjoying my content then like the video now, your likes give breath to live in YouTube, otherwise I would be just an engine, Wesley captured the knight, knight g5. Threatening bishop g7 followed by king takes bishop queen takes pawn which will be a mate, so take f6, this is the main threat, rook can't protect it because of queen takes f7. He played bishop e6, bishop check here takes, bishop g6 queen h6, there is no way to stop mate. Whatever is worrying you right now, forget about it, take a deep breath, stay positive and know that things will get better. This was the first between Alpha and Wesley, actually this was the bullet game that's why Wesley lose very badly, our next game time control is 5 plus 3, can Wesley take revenge against Alpha? Let's see, e4 by Alpha, e5 knight c3 knight c6 and Alpha played f4, because he liked to experiment different types of openings in each game, if you had Alpha 0 engine then you might be the best opening player, Wesley accept the Alpha's challenge, knight f3 threatening to hop the center to control key center squares, guarding the g5 square, the pawn will be under attack by the bishop, bishop c4 castle will create problems in kingside geometrically, Wesley said, nope, I will build my structure. h3 bishop here d4, he pushed his third pawn on h file to hit the knight with his Kawasaki bike, therefore the d pawn will be weak, h4 g4, any normal player might think of retreating the knight but that's not correct approach the king is very insecure there, black have nasty pawns. If you play king's gambit or vienna gambit and lose against your opponent, that's a very shameful thing, alpha played knight g5 and got trapped by f6. I appreciate Wesley that he is not a 7 year child or noob player against AI, takes takes takes, the queen is under attack so if you dare to play knight e7, bishop c5 will pressure at your f7 square with two pieces, knight takes pawn, knight to d5 to bombard at your knight, knight retreats castle d6 bishop f6, if you capture the knight, then after knight check, king here check king g7 rook f7. King g6 queen f1, 
Knight backs knight check and it will be a checkmate in two moves and friends if you learning something new from my video then like and subscribe to my channel, I have only 7k subscribers, in this position Wesley played bishop f6, queen d2 and he picked up the free pawn, e5 attacks this, take take knight backs to target to the pawn, once black activate his bishop it will be kinda impossible for alpha 0 to defeat black because after all, he is down a piece, so knight e4. Queen e7 castle and if you dare to play queen g7, attacking to the pawn then he will fall alpha's trap again, bishop c4 will attack it, so queen takes e5, takes and capturing the bishop with queen will lead rook e1, white will get two rooks file on ed with the brave knight like the humane Jesu or alien, if you are a fan of ben 10 then you are as talented as paradox scientist. If black black takes it with the pawn, thinking he will castle, but suddenly, Queen and rook have battery in this file which is why white will give him a check, king here check backs, rook d7 check, the king have no right squares to go, take check and it will be a checkmate in few moves. Stop hating yourself for everything you aren't, start loving yourself for everything you are, back to the game, we have b5 which is the best move apparently, takes rook b8 to get this file. Bishop shouldn't move back on a4 because queen b4 will offer queen exchange or checkmate at the same time, that is the defect so alpha played a4, a6 to kick out the bishop so he played knight check to play e takes f6, deflecting the queen from this square, so now he can move back his bishop and at the same time, he want to push the pawn, king here rook f1. Rook g8 g6, the queen shouldn't move back because the h5 pawn will gone, Bishop f5 will come and it will be plus 5 position for alpha, Wesley calculates all of these moves and captured the pawn, takes takes queen d5. Queen h6 king b1 bishop here queen here takes rook takes backs f7, rook h8 is coming, and the king is too slow to run, it is just over for any human as black from this position, takes queen check backs rook h8, bishop here take take take, alpha have the queen, pass pawn and the king is exposed and he is completely winning the game, Wesley played a very nice game in opening but at the end of the day, alpha zero is undefended. He sacrificed his knight in the opening and that's a very 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 insane level of chess, hope you enjoyed my content very well, and like subscribe the channel so you wouldn't miss any latest updates from us.